When do dogs stop growing? You're probably asking yourself this question, especially if you've recently welcomed a new puppy into your home. Apart from gratifying your curiosity, recognizing when your dog is completely grown allows you to know when to buy that pricey collar, harness, or dog bed without any concern about your puppy outgrowing it. To answer your question, here's an in-depth look at when you can anticipate your puppy to stop growing. Let's take a look. The science behind a puppy's growth. Dogs grow in much the same way that human children do anatomically, especially when it comes to height. Muscles and other soft tissues can expand throughout a dog's life, so it's quite easy to predict its growth. However, bones are not like that. They don't grow at all as adults, and it's difficult to imagine how they will expand in size early in their lives. The long bones in a puppy's legs grow from two unique areas called growth plates, rather than growing in a generalized manner that includes the entire bone. Growth plates are relatively thin cartilaginous areas at each end of the bones where new tissue is formed. During puppyhood, while new tissue is forming, the growth plates are rather flexible and squishy. The new tissue hardens and calcifies as it gets older, eventually turning into bone. The growth plates are considered to have closed when they have finished creating new tissue and have become totally calcified, indicating that the bone has achieved its final size. Growth plates are delicate and easily damaged. As a result, it's critical to keep young puppies from overexerting themselves, as this might harm their development plates. Allowing puppies to leap high, such as onto or off of the couch, is likewise a terrible idea. So, when do dogs stop growing? When do dogs reach the point where they stop growing? It's entirely dependent on your dog's breed. While small and medium breeds can attain adult size in less than a year, large and giant breeds can take longer. Will your dog stay a teeny tiny puppy or develop into a huge canine? Small dog breeds. Here are examples of small dog breeds. Toy Poodle. English Toy Spaniel. Japanese Chin. Miniature Pincher. Papillon. Pekingese. Toy Fox Terrier. Pomeranians. Chihuahuas. How quickly do small-sized dog breeds grow? Small dog breeds mature the fastest in terms of both physical and sexual maturity. Your small dog will cease growing between the ages of six months and one year, depending on the breed. The Chihuahua is one of the fastest growing dogs, reaching adult size as early as six months of age in some cases. The toy poodle comes in second with an adult size of six to seven months. Miniature pinchers take a few months longer to mature, reaching an adult size between the ages of 10 and 11 months. Pomeranian and papillon breeds, for example, achieve adult size at 12 months. Medium dog breeds. Here are examples of medium dog breeds. American Foxhound. Australian Shepherd. Basset Hound. Border Collie. Staffordshire Bull Terrier, English Bulldog, Dalmatian, English Springer Spaniel. How quickly do medium-sized dog breeds grow? These puppies mature at twice the rate of small puppies. They will, however, grow at a faster rate than smaller breeds in their first year and will need to be regularly monitored to ensure that they receive the proper nutrition. Because medium dog breeds have more growth to complete than small dog breeds, they take longer to achieve their full size. Your dog may stop growing between the ages of 12 and 24 months, depending on the breed. Large dog breeds. At the end of their growth period, these breeds are known to grow into large dogs. Akita. Bernese Mountain Dog. Boxer. Bull Mastiff. German Shepherd. Greyhound. Golden Retriever. Alaskan Malamute. Belgian Malinois, Borzoi, Cane Corso, Rottweiler. How quickly do large-sized dog breeds grow? Large breed puppies reach complete physical maturity around the same time as medium breed puppies. Your large dog will grow to full size around 16 to 24 months, depending on the breed. The boisterous Belgian Malinois takes between 16 and 19 months to reach full size. Similarly, the Cane Corso's growth stops around the age of 19 months. 
the Alaskan Malamute, Rottweiler, and German Shepherd are among the breeds that reach adulthood between the ages of 18 and 24 months. Giant Dog Breeds Some puppies will grow up to be giants, dwarfing even the largest canines you've ever seen. The puppies are from the following breeds. Great Dane Bernard Great Pyrenees Irish Wolfhound Giant Schnauzer Mastiff How quickly do giant-sized dog breeds grow? These dogs take the longest to fully mature, with the majority reaching adulthood at the age of 3. They are not considered overweight if they weigh up to 150 pounds. If you receive pups from any of these breeds, keep in mind that they will require space to grow comfortably. Make sure your dog has a large yard and a home that he can move around in. Mixed Dog Breeds While you may get a basic estimate of how big your dog will be depending on the breed, mixed breeds are a little more difficult to predict. There are certain physical signs that can help you predict your dog's adult size whether it is a mixed breed or you aren't sure what breed it is. Keep in mind that each dog is unique, and these strategies are only meant to assist you in making an educated guess. 1. Check for loose skin. While some dogs, such as bulldogs, are just wrinkly, loose skin is frequently an indication that your dog has room to grow. 2. Touch the ribs for growth plates. Try feeling your puppy's rib cage and check for knobs along the edge of the bones that are still hardening growth plates. While this won't foretell adult size, if you can feel these, there's a good probability your dog still has some growing to do. 3. Take advantage of a canine DNA testing service. If you're unsure about your dog's bloodline, you may buy canine DNA testing kits to assist you to figure it out. Then you can search up your dog's breed, s to see how big they'll grow. Some veterinarians, however, are concerned about the lack of standards and probable lack of accuracy provided by these kits. Other factors affecting puppy growth. Aside from your dog's breed, there are three other factors that influence how fast and how much your puppy grows. Here are the other things you need to consider. Genetics. Every dog has a unique genetic code that affects the length of his or her growing phase, build, and adult size. Some genetic features are passed down from parent to puppy, while others are just the consequence of random DNA recombination. This indicates that puppies with large parents may have a little longer growth phase and eventually grow to be larger, although this is not guaranteed. Large parents can have little children, and vice versa. Nutrition. Puppies lacking a proper diet may not get all of the nutrients and protein they need to mature into large, muscular dogs. To help your puppy reach his or her full size and to keep him healthy, feed high-quality puppy food. These diets have a higher protein content and are specifically made to supply the nutrients that pups' growing bodies require. If you have a large breed puppy, you should choose a food that is specifically intended for them. Large puppies who grow too fast may develop orthopedic issues later in life. Spayed or neutered. There are many myths and misunderstandings concerning the consequences of neutering or spaying a dog, and many owners assume that if they neuter their dog, they would stop growing sooner or won't become as large. Spaying and neutering are thought to cause minor variations in the growth rate trajectory of puppies and can have a minor impact on a dog's adult size. However, unlike most owners believe, dogs altered before the age of 16 weeks grow a little bigger than those who aren't spayed or neutered at this age. Hormones aren't the main drivers of growth, though. Genetics and nutrition are. When you look at buckets full of data representing thousands of people, the variations caused by neutering and spaying procedures become clear. Your dog's adult size should not be affected by your decision to spay or neuter him. Even so, you should study up the benefits and drawbacks of spaying and neutering your dog to better understand whether it's time to do so. Enjoy your dog's first year of life. While it's impossible to predict how big your puppy will grow, understanding their genetic history and breed will help you make an educated guess. And there's no reason to think your puppy won't attain their maximum development potential as long as you feed them a nutritious diet and keep an eye on their health. Focus on giving them the finest start possible, and you'll reap the benefits for years to come. Your puppy's growth and development will be aided by proper socialization, a good diet, plenty of exercise, and regular stimulation. Above all, have a good time with your puppy.
there's nothing quite like the first year of a dog's life to capture your heart.